Welcome back to another episode of Character Score Plays Asagao Academy. My name is Bobby. I'm Kevandre. And last time, uh, we got into a blanket fort with Hana mm-hmm. in, Ma- in May. And Josh dressed up as a girl with a, with a fancy wig. That's right, and, and fixed our school uniform, which is great, and did Mimi's hair. Yeah. And hung uh, out with PBG and watched him play Turby games. <laughs> and there's a uh, uh, stomping sisters is that what yeah it's stomping sisters yeah there's that competition coming up at noon at some point in his bedroom and then oh he's gonna stomp some sisters in his bedroom oh yeah but then uh jared and paul was it paul yeah jared and paul yeah uh they're feuding over whether or not the fashion show or the school council elections things are more important. We remained neutral. There is plenty of space for posters for both. They don't need to put posters on top of Jared's posters. That's right, those posters. We should have sided with Jared. Piece of shit. Uh, remain neutral. <laughs> Whatever. We knew Mai was gonna, you know, side with Jared. That's fine. We remain neutral. Because I'm a Satch girl. The Satch Look, man. Until, we, <laughs> until it's very obvious that we can't romance Satch because we went too far off in the other direction and we screwed it up. Uh, I'm going to just keep saying I'm a Satch girl. That's fine. Right? And uh, hopefully, one day, I can get off my lazy ass and do compilation videos that you've been telling me to do. I've been asking you to do. Yeah. He's been ask-telling me to do. <laughs> he was he was asking a month ago. He's telling me now. <laughs> and uh, to make a compilation of all the times that I've said, I'm a Satch girl. Yes, that'll work. Yeah, and then just send it to him. Along with a picture of me shirtless. And it'll be fine. It would be easier if <laughs> we could just have some sort of uh, closed captioning thing on these. Yes. But I'm not going to do that, so fuck it. Uh, yeah, that's way too much. Yeah. After the drama that morning, I wasn't sure what to expect at lunch. I dawdled on my own, making up an excuse about copying notes, hoping whatever tension remained would dissipate while I was gone. When I got to the catheter, it seemed like my plan succeeded. I'm pretty impressed with myself for remembering every time. Yeah. So... Good for me. Good for me. I needed that win. Hana! Hana, we saved a spot for you. Get over here! <laughs> Mai sat at the normal boots club table, looking like she completely belonged. She waved at me to join her. I sat down next to her at the edge of the table. Josh was across from me. We made eye contact as I sat down, so I nodded slightly to him. He nodded back. I felt accepted. Hey. Hey. <laughs> that was class. Hey. <laughs> Hey, good, thanks. PBG might have already told you, but we're working together on a project. It's going pretty well. I'm doing the pet. I'm doing the pet. Is that Gerard back there? (laughs) Is that a custard? (laughs) Yeah, that too. In a shy moment of not wanting to look Nick in the eye, I glanced to the side and saw Gerard at the back of the catheter with someone I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Is, is that the, the custard thing? Is, is We watched Avatar. Yes. Yes. So now I've got Avatar The Last Airbender stuck in my right. head. <laughs> that works out. And naturally I chose the worst episode because we're the worst at whatever we do. Right. It fits. There's symmetry. Everyone, High tier jokes, people. Everyone turned to look. <laughs> He's probably doing some trading. Satch waved a hand. So I borrowed a nice drawing tablet the other day, hoping I could use it to make plans for my machine. Look, the more Satch says, the more Bobby's getting wet. Not... Because this drawing tablet thing <laughs> is what he's all about these days. Yeah, because I just got mine and I'm learning to use it. And also, I like making plans for machines. Yeah, now you gotta just learn from Satch. Call him up. Yeah. What's he doing? I Look, know. I would just go over chemistry, but I took a lot of mechanical engineering courses. Nice. More than a normal chemistry student should. That Because I suck at engineering. <laughs> Satch changed the subject and everybody started talking about that. I, however, kept my concentration on Gerard, who was holding a small figure. Same with the girl he was talking to. Were those what they were trading? Those are itty-bitty kitties. They're really popular right now. I'm surprised you don't recognize them. They're kitty figures of all different shapes and colors. I have a few myself. Uh You know me, I'm hip to the know about these things. Is that a thing? I... Hip to the know? It is, if she says it. Alright, good enough. Yeah, I ship whatever Mai says, because in real life... I'd, I just want to hang out with her. Yeah, she's great. They're pretty cute, but kind of a little girl thing. She shrugged. 
Gerard is known as the completionist around here, and every time a new thing gets popular, he collects them all. I've never seen his collections, but I heard they're really impressive. You have to be a dedicated person to do something like that. Yeah, that dude's dedicated. Does he have a complete first edition set of the original Pokemon? Cards? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. That the completionist? Like was that why he was so thorough when giving me a tour? Thorough? I always say thorough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't heard somebody say thorough like that since I left this out. You heard me say it twice in one sentence half an hour ago. No, you did not. I've got the video to prove it. All right, then. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> IBK is the thing right now. And last year, too. I think in first year there were people still collecting silly slimy snakes, but that got old fast. Silly slimy snakes. Okay. Teachers didn't like everything coated in a thin layer of slime. I still have one in our room. I can show you sometime. Oh, yeah, you show me your, your slimy snake there, my Right, remember? We can share it. I hope it's double-ended. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we don't censor shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jared tapped Mai on the shoulder, and she whirled around, hitting me in the face with her hair. Yes! I wanted to thank you for this morning. Oh no, it was nothing. Definitely, I mean it. As Jared and Mai spoke, my eyes went back to Gerard's exchange. The girl pulled a second figure out of her backpack and held both of them up. Jared and Gerard inspected it and shook his head. I did that thing that they both complain about all the time. People are just like, hey... You're the guy who completes things. Jared, right? Well, Gerard. But yeah, pro pro Gerard. Pro Jared? <laughs> <laughs> that poor guy. I can see that <laughs> happening so much now. <laughs> she, she pulled another one out, sadly this time, and Gerard's face lit up. He held out his figure and they swapped. How bittersweet. Letting go of something you love to get something you would potentially love more. What do you think, Hana? My attention was pulled away. I hadn't been listening to the conversation. Uh-huh. Yes or no? Uh, you want to flip a coin? Yeah, let's flip a coin. Hey, hey, got a quarter? Heads for yes, tails for no. Okay. Heads. Interesting. Mike gave me a skeptical glance, then turned away. I bowed my head in apology and took one last quick look at the intriguing trade happening. I get the feeling that that would have been the result either way. Ah, I'm sure it doesn't matter. The girl left, and Gerard was now talking to a boy with a messy appearance who made exaggerated hand motions. It was probably that short boy from yesterday who was Italian. Right. It looked like he just got out of bed. Was this another trade? All right. So, official announcement, in case you haven't heard, we're having a competition tomorrow. Just a little, little casual something to get us ready for the tournament. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! We've been planning this one since last year's. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. How does John do that shit? I don't know. My attention snapped back to the conversation happening in front of me. Was this what PBG was talking about yesterday? Uh, Hana, bye. You're invited if you'd like to come. Either way is fine, but let me know so I can plan. Sorry, I have to drink because my voice is getting fucked over. How does it work? Well, you see, you just work the shaft of... Yeah. It's a little... <laughs> God damn it. I can't do it. I think you've got a problem. <laughs> Bobby's just constantly working the shaft. Yeah. It's a little thing, some lighthearted fun to start off the new year. You know what I've heard about the shaft, though? It's one wean mother ch 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 now. We just talk about shaft. Yeah. <laughs> lighthearted fun, my ass. John almost bro broke Satch's nose last year, and Gerard twisted his ankle. Satch delicately raised a hand to his nose. No. It wasn't... An... No. It was an accident! You forgot the part where you almost passed out from blood from blood loss, Shane. I didn't forget. <laughs> he looked away. His husband will never return from war. I can never forget. <laughs> uh, I I don't know about this. I'm not very good at video games. Yeah. Sure you are, Jared. We'll come. All right. Awesome. I'll plan for you to be there. Don't worry, Hana. It's actually fun. You probably won't get hurt. <laughs> as much as I was afraid of possibly losing a limb, I really did want to go. I was glad Mai was there to force me into it. Without her, I was a lonely transfer, probably eating ass by myself at the very moment. Eating ass? Well, it, it as is... As she this, should. It is that generation. It's the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Sounds fun. 
Thanks for inviting us. Of course. It would be rude to have you sit with us at lunch and then ban you, ban you from our tournament. Maybe I need to drink something. Yeah, Bye. I know, right? You drink that yeah. uh, vanilla extract right there. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of that. The, the Windex. Yes. <laughs> Plus, it'll be nice to have some new competition. Yeah, some competition you are. I look forward to winning. The rest of lunch passed by comparatively uneventfully. Or at least, if anything else happened, I didn't notice. I was too busy staring at the food in front of me, joy and horror mixing in my stomach. There was no way I was going to beat even one of those normal Boots Boys. I would make a fool of myself. A fully justified and proven fool. But still, I was getting to go. It was a privilege nobody else shared. Fuck them. Paul looked at me with what seemed like concern and I smiled at him. He grinned and returned to his food. The least I could do was give it a chance, right? After a long day, class was finally over and I was ready to go home. You ever have those moments where you're thinking about a thing and you're like, man, you could word that really poorly and make it seem just awful? Yeah. So they have this tournament for fun, right? And people seem to get injured a lot. Okay. So he's talking to Hana and Maya and it's like, yeah, you sit at our table and it'd be rude not to injure you for fun afterwards. I agree. Okay. Could you imagine somebody saying that to you in real life though? Yeah. Because I just did. Is that why? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Shizuka still wasn't over her breakup, and my complaint loudly that she needed a new man so the homework would stop being so killer. Oh, that Miss Shizuka needed a new man. Yeah. It was something to do, though. What else would I be doing if not homework? Studying, probably. I mean, that's Hana. homework. Hana, before we go back to the dorms, there's something in A32 that I want to show you. Come, come. A32? Wasn't that... Um. The Normal Boots Club room? We're not allowed in there. There's no meeting today, so no one is going to be there either. Yeah, but I like to sniff their shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why we need to go now. Mai grabbed my hand and dragged me through the halls. Mai, I don't know about this. What if someone sees us? If you act natural, no one will care. There's too many people around. Nobody will be interested in what we're doing. Mai was full of confidence that I wish I shared. I really don't think I'm comfortable with this. Yeah. Turn around and go into the closet that's right there. Yeah. That's more exciting. Now I'm in the closet, too. Yeah, too. Mai stopped at the club room door, gently tugging on it. Yeah! Sweet! They left it open! She pulled me into the club room and shut the door behind us. I like the little itty-bitty kitty things now that I see It's them. in here. Here was a storage closet. There you go. The closet. At the back of the room, a plain white cabinet. She stopped short of the door, looking expectantly at me. I tugged the knob, hoping it would be locked like all the storage closets oh, were. Oh, I guess Shane's in here. Yeah. The knob didn't move, confirming my suspicions. <laughs> Relief swept through me. Well, darn. Looks like it's locked. I guess whatever you have to show me, we'll have to wait till another day. Or maybe never. Okay, bye. Oh, I know. It's locked. That's why I have these. She pulled a shiny chain of keys from her pocket, eyes sparkling. What? Shizuka's keys? Who gave you those? <laughs> no one. I'm borrowing them for a little bit. No harm done. She fiddled with the door handle, going through key after key. My... I'm seriously uncomfortable with this. Someone is bound to find out. They always do. Finally, there was a small click and the lock relented. <laughs> Don't worry, Hana. I'll protect you. My opened the closet and a light shone through directly onto its contents. Uh, it's... it's... Marcellus Wallace's soul. No, it is not. It's a MacGuffin. Oh. There they are, there they are! To my utter bewilderment, there sat luminescent golden boots resting on a velvet pillow encased in a glass box. <gasps> what are those? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I had to, goddamn. I stepped uh... closer to the case and was about to put my hand on the glass, but stopped inches before, wrought with guilt. Oh, do they have actual golden boots on a velvet pillow? Did they make that for I, the normal boots? I don't think so, but maybe they did. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a secret that's just only them. Yeah. Like, Gerard just keeps it. He would. He's got all sorts of shit. Yeah. We shouldn't be here. This should be in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> These, Hana, are the boots. The boots. It's a symbol of the normal boots club. This is their club room, after all. I'm telling you, these guys don't mess around. You don't mess around. My bounty don't 
Yeah, yeah that too. Yeah. Is it made of gold? Real gold? It must have cost a fortune. I'd say they're solid gold, only worth a hundred thousand yen or so. But to really make sure... Gotta put them on. Mai's fingers wiggled in front of her face. Before I could stop her, she opened the glass case and lifted the boots from the velvet pillow they rested on. <laughs> Mai! Please be careful! We get it, Mai. You've got boots. I grabbed the boots from underneath, just in case she dropped them. Good thing, too, because they were heavy. The gold was cool and hard to the touch. These boots were definitely not wearable in anything but normal. These boots are not made for walking. No, they're not my boots! <laughs> Mai bounced them up and down, weighing them with her hands. Her arms flexed as she did so. I suddenly realized why her pats on the back hurt so much. Volleyball made her strong. Bingo. Yeah, definitely solid gold. Mimi lied to me. She said they were gold-plated. I didn't believe her, so I had to check. So you dragged me along instead of her? Yeah, fuck that bitch. Yeah, we, she we fell watched her. her fell on her face. <laughs> I just love that she fell on her face. Yeah. This display of wealth made my stomach turn. Where they saw a symbol, I saw months of food for my father and I. A hundred thousand yen just lying in a closet protected by a single poorly guarded key. It might not have been a big deal to the students with rich parents, the majority of the academy, but it was more than disturbing to me. Uh -huh. Yes, you. I wanted you to experience this with me. Silhouetted by the warm glow of the spotlights, my smile at me. That smile almost made me feel okay being here without permission. Almost. <laughs> Plus, when we get caught, we'll be okay. There's no way they can punish you. They really like you. What? Thank you, Hana. <laughs> the storeroom lights flickered on. We both turned abruptly, still holding the boots. Shane stood in the doorway. Aha! Uh -huh. He knew we were messing with knobs, and he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I heard someone was uh, messing with knobs. Maybe not that one. <clears throat> you. What are you doing here? That case is supposed to be locked. Well, it was locked. <gasps> My... Shane. We're really sorry, Shane. We heard the boots were kept in here, and we were curious. That's all. No harm done, right? Here, Mai, let's give the boots back to him. Uh... Yeah, I was just showing her. We aren't suspicious. <laughs> you guys hide it away. How is anyone ever supposed to see it? Yes, we aren't suspicious. That's exactly what you should say when someone catches you doing something that's suspicious. Yes. It's okay, I'm not suspicious. Oh, well, all, <laughs> That's my, fine, wor then. all my worries have gone. Hey, we're cops, too. <laughs> she handed the boots to Shane, who placed them carefully back into the case, adjusting the pillow to the center. No. We hide it from people who aren't in the club, like you. The case clicked shut. Shane, I'm sorry. Hmm. Do not come back here. Get out of my sight. But... I'm containing my anger now. But your continued presence is making that ever more difficult. I gulped. Mai and I dashed out the door. Damn, son. Shane slammed the door behind us. Do, do you think he's going to tell the rest of them? Um... I really hope not. I might have ruined my reputation with them. I don't think you, he did shit, huh? You might have ruined my reputation with them. Yeah. You Sorry. thirsty bitch. I think you mean I might have ruined your reputation oh, with them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, good for you, Mai. She threw her head back and laughed. <laughs> That's quite a laugh, Mai. Not quite grasping the consequences of her actions. Also, your laugh is supposed to be... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a Danny DeVito it up. Yeah, you'll be fine. I'll even be fine. They're students just like us. It's not like we stole it. But Shane, he was really angry. That's just an act. Don't worry about it, Hana. I said I would protect you, right? Her words seemed genuine enough, but I had a hard time believing her. It was almost as if she planned for us to get caught. Okay. Hana, you'll be fine. You're a main character. Yeah. Good. Now let's head back to the dorms. The competition's tomorrow, and I do not plan on losing due to lack of sleep. The tournament! I completely forgot. Would they even let us participate considering what we just did? No. Okay. I recognize that song. What was it? That's a good question. Yeah, I know I recognize that. My hummed happily as she skipped down the hall, somehow impervious to my anxieties. Heart heavy, I followed her. Only time would tell. That's, that's going to bother me now. Fuck, I know that song, too. Saturday dawned bright and harsh. The cloudy light outside mirrored my gloomy mood as I quickly dressed and woke up mine. 
Now hold on. Now he's I worrying the... about the song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't. Whatever. Anyways, my it's time to get up. It'll come to me like in three hours, and I'll just tweet it out just with Google no it. context. Uh, why? The video game competition, remember? We're playing Stupend Stomping Sisters today. <laughs> and I shot straight up out of her bed. <laughs> oh my god, Jared! I can hang out with Jared today! She catapulted from the top of her bunk bed and spinned out into the hallway. Okay, you need to calm down. I heard crashes and shrieks as she massacred the other girls to get into the bathroom. <laughs> she just got like, she's dual wielding axes. Just like, get the fuck out of the way. I need to see Jared. <laughs> the sun slowly rose through the window. Everything would be just fine, right? Soon, my return, fully dressed and raring to go. Hana. Come on, <laughs> Hana, let's go. She grabbed my hand and dragged me out into the campus commons. Her incessant tugging hurt, but I followed her silently. Even more strangely, she wasn't talking either. Our nerves had gotten the better of us both. We wandered the halls of the boys' dorm, making our way to 402. The dormitory itself smelled awful, like stale Dorito chips. I wondered how I never noticed it and realized this was the first time I came on a weekend. Rather than wandering campus all day for classes and clubs, most people were sleeping in or hanging out in their rooms. My, slow, my slowed down as we climbed the stairs, staring at the floor. The closer we got, the slower we progressed. We opened up the fourth floor door and crossed the hall. Finally, we stood in front of PBG and John's door. Um, you should knock. What? Me? You should knock. You got here first. Yeah, but you're their friend. <laughs> well, you know them better. <gasps> but you've got pink hair! Is there a problem? It is. We both froze. Sense of ham wafted oh, through the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's Jared. <laughs> oh, Jared. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Good morning. Hello, ladies. Why does he smell like ham? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's very strange. Is there something wrong with the door? Oh, no, we just... <laughs> we didn't want to wake them up in case they were still sleeping. <laughs> Jared let out a low-throated laugh. I don't think they'd mind having you wake them up. Girl. Maya's eyes almost rolled into the back of her head. <laughs> Call him Ma! <laughs> Here, allow me. He leaned between us and tapped on the door. He was surprisingly tall, and being some ten inches shorter than him, he towered over me. He looked down at me and winked. The door flew open. Hey. Hey, guys. Glad you could make it. We'll be a bit squished in here, but it's better than nothing. What? Well, we couldn't get the classroom this year. I jumped. Shane stood behind me, expressionless. I didn't even see him come. Yeah, it turns out Hidden Block decided to book it for the same day. Wonder what for. John snorted somewhere in the background. I'm not sure your room is better than nothing. Oh, Shane, with the zingers! <laughs> that wasn't a zinger. Yeah, it was kind of a zinger. <laughs> Uh, are you just gonna stand outside or are you coming in? I need to work on my John voice. Yeah. A lot. We stepped through the threshold, fully and completely entering PBG in John's room. Boy territory. We were out of our element. Maya had never been in the room before and she glanced at the walls, shelves, and desks like a manic squirrel. Her eyes gleamed and I had the same sneaking suspicion she was making some note of what she saw for her own nefarious purposes. Though what they were, I had no idea. Rather, I didn't want to know. What's up? Go on, go on. Take a seat anywhere. I looked to my left and saw boxers lying on a desk chair. Blood shot into my face. That's rude. Why would you have, like, a water gun filled with blood to shoot in her face? Look, sometimes guys' dorms just get a bit weird. It's okay? just a different world, okay? And We're yeah. used to the girls' world, but... Yeah. Were they used? Again, look, I just watched Shimonetta. Like, don't... <laughs> <laughs> PBG followed my gaze and turned red. Uh, ah, ah, it's a uh, let me clean up a bit. Hmm. Pigsty. Did they have pigsties in England? Hana, you dumb bitch. What a question. 
Everything in America is a derivative of England. Also, what? this is Japan. <laughs> but that's what in, I'm saying. <laughs> we're in Japan. Shane looked at me blankly. <laughs> Man, we're so lucky that. What? It's the Wii U. Okay, very French. I see it now. I had it done. The Wii U has eight player stomp. I'm excited to crush you, Shane. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Hey. <laughs> Hello, guess who's here? Gerard entered without knocking, a bright smile on his face. Hold on, what? Aw oh, man, Shane got here before me. <laughs> Did you fail to see me leave? Yeah, whatever. I was hoping you were in the bathroom or something. Uh, which, which one's Paul? Oh, yes. Uh, we brought extra controllers. Mm. It's hard for me to remember all the names of people I don't know until I see the face. Then maybe you should yeah. watch the channel. Yeah, probably. Not gonna. Does anybody knock around here? Nope. Uh... No. Why would we? <laughs> to be polite? <laughs> Girls and their ridiculous social <laughs> constructs. That's... Yeah, that's fair. What? An intricate knock clattered through the entryway, and I pointed toward the door in defiance. It, it's probably Satch, right? Yeah. See? Somebody yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I brought bagels. Figured we didn't want a repeat of last year. My stomach grumbled, and she turned red. <laughs> that's what I thought. Ah, that's my husband. A oh. new ship. Yeah. Okay. Girl. Yeah, let's get it on. <laughs> Thanks, Satch. You're perfect. You're the best partner anyone can ask for. You are truly the best of us. I agree. Can't you just ask for one normally? I brought enough for everyone. Jared leaned his head against Satch's shoulder, then turned to whisper into his ear. <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Why can't I quit you? <laughs> okay, well then. Everyone pick a place to sit, we'll hand out bagels, and then we'll get started. I scuttled to the side of the room against PBG's bed next to mine. You want to call it here and we'll do the video game tournament next time? Sure. I think this is a good place to stop. So uh, we'll go ahead and do our shout outs now. Well, sounds good. I'm going to do a shout out to everyone's favorite robot bird, Jacques. Right. He's a JonTron's bird. Uh, he's a green conure. Sure. Something like that. I think it's a conure. Um, and he's been around a while. Yeah, green conure. Uh, so, for some reason in the JonTron show, he has Jacques there. Well, not so much in the last many episodes. I don't think I've seen Jacques in a while. But uh, Jacques was always part of it, and he his eyes lit up red, and he's talked like a robot voice. That was homicidal. Yeah, it was pretty great. Um, and I, I've always enjoyed Jacques. It was a good back and forth. But John's new format, I don't think he uses Jacques anymore. I'm pretty sure Jacques is still around, though. But just not in the videos. But yeah, apparently in this game you can seduce Jacques. But the only words of wisdom that I got was, it's a total mindfuck, don't do it. Yeah, I guess it's just uh, completely bad. Don't so, do not do that one. So yeah, if you want to see that one, go look somewhere else. Apparently you have to do a very specific thing to lock into that one. And we're almost certainly not going to do that. Nope. Alright, so my shout out is going to be somewhat controversial, even though it should be pretty obvious. Uh, I'm doing a shout-out to One Punch Man Season 2. Why which is that controversial? It's being released on Hulu. The reason why it's controversial is because the studio doing the animation and all that stuff switched. So it's a new studio doing it. Okay. Uh, I think the first season was done by Madhouse? I think that's right. And I cannot remember exactly who's doing the second season. But a lot of people were like, oh, the first episode was so dumb and they ruined One Punch Man, even though, now it followed the comics and it's fine. And the animation's totally crap. I have watched all the first season and into the second season. The animation is a little bit different, but it's still great. Yeah. It, people just being like, oh, it isn't the same because I'm loyal to Madhouse, bleh, and causing shit. Right. And there's been a whole bunch of videos like, is, you know, One Punch Man over? Is it ruined? And no. It's fine. I don't get it. Okay. The, these people are fucking weird. Uh, but yeah, so far I'm watching it. It's staying very faithful to the comics, which is awesome. The manga, whatever. 
depending on which way you're looking at it, because originally it was drawn by a dude in like kind of a sketchy comic style, and then it later got remade into a proper manga style right. with a better artist. So it's complicated. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's following along with that really, really well. And watching the intro, and I'm recognizing some characters from later on. So it's very, very good stuff. Still the same sense of humor, because they're following the same story. I really dig it. Nice. I, I really like One Punch Man Season 1, and I'm really liking One Punch Man Season 2 as it's being released on Hulu. Yeah. So. I really liked Season 1 as well, but I'm going to wait for the dub for Season 2. Yeah, you're a dub kind of person. I, I am a dub kind of person. So, I, very rarely do I watch something in another language. And by very rarely, I mean I don't do that. Yeah. Except for Life is Beautiful, which is better in, in Italian than it is in English. Sure, okay. Yeah. A lot of movies are very interesting in German. Because you have, like, some very, like, lovey-dovey phrases and all that stuff, but it's German, so it sounds like they hate each other. Right. And it's great. That's the kind of relationship you're into. Yes, it is. Right. I want to wake up to a woman afraid that she killed me in my sleep. Yeah. You just wake up and you're like, oh, I'm alive. And then you look down and there's just a dagger in your chest and she just barely missed the heart. And you're just like, well. All right, well. <laughs> it's an interesting day today. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Anyway. Da. Mm -hmm. That's different. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'll uh, still take it, though. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you next time for our uh, stupendous Smashing Sisters tournament. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Let it play us. Bye. Satch is the one who knocks. Oh. You thought of that way too late. I did.